We've got a perfect grilling recipe for you this morning. Amy has grilled pineapple pork chops. Let's get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hi, good morning, everybody. Wondering what to make for dinner tonight? I've got a new recipe I think you're going to love. You know, we all get into that recipe rut where we're making the same things over and over again. Lots of brats and burgers. Well, why not do something different on the grill? Why not do pork chops? My husband Bob loves pork chops. So do the kids. And every time I make them, they say, Mom, why don't we have these more often? This is a quick, easy recipe, and everybody in your family will love it. My pineapple grilled pork chops. I've got some pork chops grilling up now, and they were in a, a lovely, real easy teriyaki marinade that I'm going to show you how to make. I've got one 20 ounce can of pineapple, and I'm going to drain the juice from that can of pineapple right into a measuring cup. Don't throw out that juice. Well, that's doing that. I'm actually going to take some of these pineapple slices and throw them on the grill. This is going to be a great little side to go with our pork chops. Boy, let me tell you, if you've never tried grilled pineapple, you need to. Um, just yummy. So we're just looking for some nice grill marks, and it just makes that pineapple sweet and wonderful. It takes it to a whole nother level. Okay, so we've got our reserved pineapple juice. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt or garlic powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. So it's kind of a sweet, salty marinade, like a teriyaki sauce. And uh, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. That's it. Probably already have all that stuff right in your pantry already. So I'm just whisking that together. I've got some beautiful boneless pork chops, some nice thick pork chops, um, but any kind of pork chop will do bone in. Sometimes those, um, the nice thin ones are on sale, so it's going to work with any kind of pork chop. The nice thing about um, this marinade, or any kind of marinade when you're working with pork chops, is if your pork chops, you know, if you don't like dry pork chops, marinate them. They'll be wonderful and juicy. It just really does the trick. So I like to marinate in a Ziploc bag or in a glass or a plastic dish and really kind of get that marinade in there. This is going to be enough for a good four to six pork chops. Just depends on how thick they are. Just want to check on my pineapple. Oh yeah. We're just looking for some grill marks. And by the way, fresh pineapple work too. Grilled pineapple on top of vanilla ice cream. Ooh, is that good? Okay. So you want to pull, cook your pork chops until, I use a, a, an instant read meat thermometer until about, um, they reach an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. You don't have to cook them for hours and hours um, like they used to back in the day. You want them to be still nice and juicy. And these are beautiful. Bring these out to the table for your barbecue. Pick up some twice baked potatoes and maybe a great salad from the deli and you are going to look like a rock star and who doesn't like to look like a rock star so there you go it's my grilled pineapple pork chops I think your family is going to love this recipe you can find it on our website or you can pick it up right there at any festival foods